Today is a very special day. Today is a special day because I think today, today I think I can hit 1,000 kilometers on my e-bike. Now I'm only at 963 right now, which means I need about 37 more kilometers. I'm not entirely sure I can get that range. The battery is not full right now and I tend to use quite a lot of power. I don't like to work very hard. It's extremely hot outside right now. So we'll see if we can do this. It's been about four months since I got this bike. And since we're almost at a thousand kilometers, I, I thought it might be helpful to share a few of my thoughts about the Rad Runner Plus and about e-biking because what I'm finding is my experience is quite different from a lot of people's. haven't noticed in your own city e-bikes are blowing up around the world actually but especially here in Edmonton in North America a lot of people are buying e-bikes and what I've noticed is a lot of these e-bike companies are popping up everywhere and they don't have the benefit of years and years of development and testing to get products out the door and so they're just pumping out these products and a lot of people are having issues with batteries and range and even just getting the bike built now, Rad Power, the company that this bike is made by, is a pretty reputable company and they are actually the largest producer of e-bikes in North America and that's primarily why I chose them. But even my friend who just ordered a Rad Power bike, he had three bikes sent to him that all didn't work once he put it together and eventually he just asked for a refund because he was tired of it. My experience though has been very different. I ordered my bike back in March and it came in April and I put it together and I had no issues. It's been almost a thousand kilometers and I haven't had one issue with this bike. Now of course I've put some work into maintaining the bike itself as you should with any bike, um, but I've never had any issues with the motor, the range that I'm getting. It's all worked out great for me. this video as I realized that I am lucky that I haven't had any issues. Yes, my experience is a reflection of the product that I bought, but it also could change from person to person depending where you live. Things are a mess right now with shipping, so you never know. But with that, let's talk a bit about this bike and my experience with it. That's the bridge I'm going to right now. Like I said, I got super lucky with this bike and so far my experience has been amazing. It has gotten me around the city wherever I need to go. I can take as much stuff as I want with me. My wife can even <laughs> ride on the back with me. And for its purpose, which is primarily to get to work and back, um, I haven't had any issues. I've been getting to work and back for now four months. It gets me there quick. I don't need to get all sweaty doing it. And honestly, the biggest reason I like it is because it's a lot of fun. Another thing I really like about having this bike, and this isn't really exclusive to Rad Power at all, uh, it's just that I love to explore the city and if you haven't tried exploring your city on a bike or on a skateboard or something like that, you should 100% try it. I'm telling you, you'll see your city in a new way. You'll find spots that you've never found before. It's 
Speaking of finding places that you've never been before, I don't understand what this place is. It seems largely abandoned and I haven't seen a single other person here. So, strange, but okay. Okay, I don't feel like going down this path right now. I have things to do, but point proven, you find new things when you go biking. Hoping to go grab some footage of a specific bridge downtown for a project that I'm working on. So we gotta go throw the drone up down there. Hopefully it's not too smoky for that. And then I'm actually going to meet my wife at her parents' house to enjoy this last day of warm weather. So lots to do. Hopefully we have enough battery to do it all. Okay, so apparently it's the government house. bridge I'm going to but I mean it's a nice one Another thing I want to mention about the bike, or I guess not mention about the bike, is the specs. You see, I did a ton of research when I was getting my bike, and I'm not upset that I did that, but I spent like three months just researching bikes and trying to find the perfect bike, when in reality, I didn't actually need to worry too much about the range or the motor or the suspension. All those things can help in a lot of ways, but to be honest, I enjoy the bike as it is. There's better bikes out there, there's worse bikes out there. The more important thing is just to get the bike and to enjoy it. So do your research, find what you need, but don't spend too much time doing it. So yeah, long story short, I really like this bike. There's a lot of really great features about it. Of course, some people have issues with it, but for me, it works really great. And a thousand kilometers in, I haven't had a single issue with the bike. Now I said I was at a thousand, I'm only at 976 right now. So let's try and break a thousand right now. finished up our final stop and yeah we're on our final leg of the journey so hopefully this won't take too long and uh, we should break a thousand just as we get home 
I'll check in when we're close. like that we made it home got exactly 1,000 kilometers on the odometer and yeah those are my thoughts about this bike I hope you enjoyed